My name is Jerson. and I'm your host, Top Deck Games. We are here for our top eight here at Pioneer League. I hope the microphone's okay. Um, it's been a while since we did our last stream. So welcome everyone. Let me just set up the deck names for both players. So on the left side, we got Andrew uh, running on Gruul Stompy. Uh, he's up against Stari. With his Yorion Niv Delight, which is which I think is the runner for uh, this tournament. I think that is the Sarul on the battlefield against uh, Andrew's one-one human token from the Lovestruck Beast. Uh, let me just get this out. Okay. Back. And there's the love struck beast already, but the Saru uh, should Sari have all the answers here. Uh, the Saru's gonna get bigger. And it's going to be a very dangerous threat. becomes a 4-4 four, four right there very powerful uh, effect uh, where is the right I'm gonna go in with the human token and the Bone Crusher Giant is going to be on the battlefield. There you go, there's the deck list. Uh, let me just set up the names here. And there's the Binding of the Old Gods. Uh, one of Kaldheim's uh, newest addition to magic, very powerful enchantment, Saga, takes care of the Bone Crusher Giant, Andrew's turn, leaving an Elvish Mystic, and a Kiora. I think Kiora was what eating, by the way. So I, I believe Sari has the upper hand here, sitting at third, third place. While Andrew is at the six, so he's playing on the draw. So Stari has a better position in playing first, which means he, he was able to set up his land early uh, without being too worried about the aggression. I'd also like to fix that glare right there. There's a thought seize. Showing Great Henge and Gruul Spellbreaker. I think the Great Henge is a very good uh, pick off for here. Because uh, that's the only thing that's gonna bring. Yeah. The only thing that's gonna bring up uh, Andrew back on the field. He's already uh, a little bit behind on power. Alright, it's gonna go in with the Sarul for five. Andrew down to six. Passes the turn. Already looking good. Uh, Sorry, already has his mana base covered. Yep, there's the Gruul Spellbreaker. Is gonna put put a counter to draw a card from Kiora, which is good. Uh, but ooh, double red. But if Sarulf goes off. And Stari gets a 
and Starry gets uh, another counter on Sorote, he can basically have a board wipe. And Starry down to 10 though, needs to be a little bit careful. As you can see, uh, Starry's uh, sideboard is a, of a, I mean, main deck and he's basically, his deck is basically super stacked with answers. So I don't know how Andrew's gonna keep up with this. He's down to like a couple of cards left. the fatal push answering rule spell breaker uh, and a very good synergy from sacrificing that binding of the old gods gonna <laughs> force the block now the sarulf is now a 7-7 yeah it's the face versus the heel <laughs> somebody needs to beat stari <laughs> Otherwise, uh, oh my god. Alright, both players are... Looks like Andrew's going down to five. He can mulligan twice, so he's in a lot of trouble. This might be a very quick game. He doesn't draw the gas. So, but there is the Lanwar Elf on turn one. And thought he has to play a tap land. Save, uh, Save a little bit of life points. And there's the Lovestruck Beast on turn two. So the, get, uh, the best response here would be. Uh, nope. Okay. So that could have been an abrupt decay, but taking care of the Gem Razor is pretty good as well. And the fact that he put. was able to put a. Fable Passage off the top means that he's trying to look for answers here. He already has an Invisit in his hand though. So if he can survive three more turns, then he should be in a good spot. He gets the white source. No second black or green. There's the Sylvan Caryatid to ramp him up. So next turn he should be able to play uh, a very big spell. Mana confluence for Andrew. Now we go in for six. Gonna block the Lanor Elf to save one damage. Go down to nine. Looks like this is Starry's turn. Get an opening. Uh, looks like he basically has five colors right now with the Sylvan Caryatid as the red source. Yep. Probably gonna go in and try to stay. And there it is. Bring to light five colors. Gonna search any sorcery creature or instance. Cast it for free. Like uh, Andrew's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Question is, what is the spell that Sari's gonna look for? Events taking care of the Lanwar Elf and the Lovestruck Beast. So <laughs> Andrew basically has a zero board right now, zero board presence. The turn, oh, but looks like uh, Andrew drew the nuts right here. I think I saw a questing beast. He's gonna play flips. Goes for the 1 1 human and the love struck beast again. Now he's turned. He still has a Nimbus set to replay his hand. Can he even shoot the. Okay, never mind. Just goes for Nimbus. Slams it. Reveals the top 10. 
There's one card. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, another one. Nine, ten. So three cards, not bad. That is Celestia, Balsamir, Friend of Wolves, Leaf Spark, and Brot Decay. <laughs> that that is a very good good turn for gotta slam it in goes in with the questing beast all right he does take it goes down to five so now he has the option to play deep part and abrupt the cave that's a three mana up the old tie just go back to three. Yeah. So now the lobster beast cannot attack. Goes up to eight. And as you can see how powerful the Nimbuset deck is. Also dealing with the lobster beast. No attack, so it's keeping it safe. So Andrew might have a chance if he draws something. Hopefully it's not land. The fact that he didn't play he didn't play land last turn means uh might be he might have a chance drool spell breaker gonna pass the turn those who are wondering that is a niv mazette's reborn on the battlefield he has an abrupt decay i believe to deal with the drool spell breaker for the turn yep there it is. So I think he played a an overgrown tomb uh, tap. Gonna put Yorga into the hand, and he's gonna pass the turn again. Just making sure. Oh my god! <laughs> and that is it. The same fate as uh, Andrew saw. Live the lights. Moves on to the next round. Congratulations, Fastari.